Hi everyone, let's talk about campaigns. Campaigns are a lot of fun, they're pretty underutilized, and a lot of that's just due to not understanding what they are or how they can be used. So we're going to talk about campaigns here, campaign members and campaign hierarchies. To kick us off, let's define a campaign. My favorite thing to do has some definitions. So a Salesforce campaign is just a group of leads and contacts who we are exposing to some very specific marketing communication. For example, we could have a campaign for an email list. We could have a campaign for a particular event. It could be for a particular advertisement that you run. It could be for an actual catch up or any sort of marketing activity or communication that you do that you want to categorize, you can use a campaign for. Now there's a lot of cool things that we can do with campaigns. We're just going to have a look at some of the very basic things like sending an email. How would you send an email to all members of a campaign? Well, there's an actual button for this called, quite nicely, send list email. <laughs> this send list email button is available from lead and contact list views as well as your campaign member list views. So you can send an email to not just everyone in a campaign, but even everyone in a particular list view, if you wanted to, very handy. And even better, you can actually schedule it for a particular date and a particular time. Now, a campaign hierarchy is a fantastic way that we can actually organize and link all of these individual marketing campaigns together. Now, why would we want to do this? It's probably pretty obvious if you've worked in marketing, but a lot of us who are here in Salesforce have not. And so this might take a little bit of thought. Think about, for example, a Christmas campaign, or a Black Friday campaign, or a New Year campaign, all right? This is not just one piece of marketing that we are you know, sending out. A Christmas campaign usually involves a whole heap of different strategies, a whole heap of different topics and, and emails and you know all these different types of marketing. And we might want to group all of those under one overarching campaign called Christmas campaign. Now how can we do this? Well, we just use campaign hierarchies, which uses a parent-child kind of relationship to associate campaigns together in a hierarchy. This is great because it means that metrics from our child campaign can actually roll up to the parent. So that means that from the parent campaign, you can get an overview of how all of your child campaigns are performing. Now to do this, we just use the parent campaign field. There's literally a field that you can populate with the parent campaign. And each campaign can have up to one parent in the hierarchy. This is a fantastic tool for tracking the overall number and value of opportunities that have been generated for a product launch over multiple campaigns. And you can always view this by clicking on the View Campaign Hierarchies button. Now we've talked about campaigns and what they are, and we've talked about how you can link different campaigns together, but we're missing quite a key piece of this puzzle, which is the actual campaign member. <laughs> now what is a campaign member? A campaign member is an object that we use to describe the relationship between a lead or a contact and then our Salesforce campaign. Now the reason that this in-between object exists, which is our campaign member, is that a lead or a contact may be part of multiple campaigns. And we want to track how they interact with each campaign. If we were to store all of that information on the lead or the contact, it's going to get super busy super quickly. So instead we have these kind of middle objects called campaign members, which sit in between these two, the contact or the lead and the campaign, and track their interaction as an individual person with that particular campaign. We can create campaign members from leads, contacts, and even accounts. If you want to do it from accounts, then you have to use the accounts as campaign members setting and set up, and you must make sure that that is enabled. By default, there are two statuses for each campaign member, and this is responded and sent, but you can absolutely customize this if you like. And if we want to add in campaign members, we can do this using the data import wizard. Now, campaigns are all good and fun, but at the end of the day, what you really want to know is how much money a particular campaign brings in. All right, how much money has this campaign 
really result in in terms of customers, in terms of output, and over what period of time. Now, where do we track the money that we make in Salesforce? Opportunities, all right? Opportunities are our business deals. When we close with an opportunity, it's because we have made some sort of money. So it only makes sense that we have some sort of way to combine these campaigns and opportunities and show what was the influence of a campaign on a particular opportunity. And thankfully, we can do this by literally adding influential campaigns to particular opportunities. You can show which campaigns have influenced these opportunities by using the campaign influence related list. You can find this on every opportunity. And we can have multiple campaigns that can be influential, but you can only designate one campaign as the primary campaign source on that opportunity. If you wanted to evenly distribute revenue between multiple campaigns on an opportunity, then you need to build a custom campaign influence attribution model and then use process builder or flow. I hope that really opened your eyes a little bit into campaigns and how they can be used. They are a fantastic tool and I really recommend giving them a go and diving in a bit more and seeing if they are the right fit for your organization. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.